I'm having a day. Oh, I'll bury him in the backyard. And go pick up our Levi's, return our Levi's, go to Abercrombie, go to Vans. <laughs> All the things. A 13 minute walk? Yeah. That ain't happening. I just have thick thighs and like booty meat. Not like a butt, like booty meat on the side, you know? A size on the jeans is nothing. Like letting that go. I got a flared out little skirt. I like it a lot. All right. Let's go run some errands. I have a ton of running around to do. Oh well. Okay. I was annoyed by that, but now I'm happy. I said this was delivered at 7 a.m. and it most definitely was not, so I'm happy. It's here now. I ordered this. Other day from Zazara. I'm so excited. Ah! Wait, is it important? Yes, this is so cute. What the frick? What? Oh, it's just like a sticker. Probably from when they made it. Did you know you can get? I, everyone knows you can get stuff embroidered at Zara, but look at the little K. It's a little crossbody side bag. Also has another strap. I thought it was so cute. I got it black. Adorable. It's actually what I wanted to wear today, but ugh, it's too late. Okay, we got some errands to run. I'm eating in the car because I was too annoyed with Scott to eat lunch in the house. I'm kidding, kind of. Anyhow, let's run some errands. I've got to go to Michael's to drop off a UPS order. I've got to go to Old Navy to do some return exchanges. I need to go over to Amazon, do a return. And I need to go all the way to Oak Brook to return some jeans plus, I hope I brought them. Yes, I did. Plus get a new pair that I ordered in store. And I'm hungry, so I'm eating. I'm, well, we do it all. So let's get out of the house. Scott's just been annoying me today. <laughs> He's working from home, so I'm like, this is my sign. Go. Go before you get too annoyed. I do love him, but sometimes. Oh, I'll bury him in the backyard. I also need to go to the van store. We have a lot, and then I need to return some Abercrombie stuff. We have so much to do, but that's okay. First stop, Michael's, they're my USPS drop off. I ordered so many shorts from Revolve just to kind of see different styles. Sorry, I wanted to try the Gold Day and some Levi. No. I think only three, three out of the five pairs fit me and they were supposed to be like a loose fit so they but they didn't fit loose on me. I don't know if I'm like just delusional about my size or um, Abercrombie's just really oversized, but it's the only jeans I've ever purchased. So it's really hard to like, not the only, but really the only ones I've really purchased for a long time. So it's really uh, a bit of a weird uh, thing. I feel like no one talks about different sizes from brands, but anyways, let's turn into Michael's and return these shorts. All right, we're at second stop, Old Navy. And I just realized that the girl, did I zoom in? No. Um, I just realized there's a Marshalls right next door. Does anyone actually go into a Marshalls with like an idea of like what they want? Or do you just like go and 
figure it out. I kind of want to walk through it. I'm not going to lie to you. We're going to see how I feel after Old Navy, but let's go do these returns. And I also want to look around at some things. Um, I also learned that they price match in store, which I had no idea. So I've definitely paid full price in store and that's a shame. So let's go ahead and return this stuff. I'm going to look and see if they have exchanges, but um, I'm pretty sure I looked online to see like if it had it in store and it said no. Ma'am, what did you just drop out of your bag? Socks. Okay, bye. All right, so I feel like running over to Marshall's, so let's go see what I can find. All right, I remember why. I don't think I've been into a Marshall's since college. <laughs> I used to go all the time in college. I got this random thing that I've kind of been wanting. It's like an extendable strainer for your like kitchen sink. I figured I could throw berries. Sorry, and vegetables in there. I got a cutting board because our large cutting board, not our like extra large one, but our large one in my set of three is cracked. And so it like spills meat juice everywhere. Speaking of cracked, I've had a cracked salad spinner for months now and I finally decided to get a new one. What up? I got stuff for Arlo. There was a pair of sandals that I was thinking about, but like I didn't love them enough. Like I wouldn't have paid full price for them. Um, I got him this little set, which I thought was cute. A little Tommy Bahama polo. I like this material. And then this little jacket for spring I thought would be nice. It's an Eddie Bauer $60 jacket. It was 16 bucks. I would have paid, I wouldn't have paid full price for that, but $16 was a really good deal. So I got that stuff. And then from Old Navy, I also got him more stuff. He needs a good pair of new sweatpants because he's grown out of all of his just for like loungy days this was on sale and i have this one in the blue so i wanted to get that one i think this is the next size bigger and then some little, little sandals cute so yeah nothing was on sale it's craziness but oh well got what i needed to get now let's go i think i do have to go to um Amazon, but I really need to go to Oak Brook to go to the van store, the Abercrombie store, and the Levi's store. So let's head over that way now. Let's pick up my Levi. Oak Brook is 15, 28 minutes away. Ew. I hate traffic. So let's head that way. Also, okay. And go pick up our Levi's, return our Levi's, go to Abercrombie, go to Vans. All the things. Let's do it look like an egg um i'm at oak brook <coughs> going to <laughs> grab um my levi's to exchange those and pick up a new pair um and then i need to walk over to um i don't know where everything is in this freaking mall that's the one thing that's like annoying i like an indoor mall because you just like can walk everywhere i don't really feel like walking all the way to, <laughs> to magnet or abercrombie so i'm probably gonna get back in the car and go let me see. Should I just commit to it? It's just like... Okay, so there's the Abercrombie. It says it's only... Okay. Where's the van store? A 13-minute walk? Yeah. That ain't happening. We're driving. <laughs> Let's just go to Levi's first. the wrong freaking pair. <laughs> I ordered the wrong size. So I tried a 26 and 27. I'm normally a 26 at Abercrombie, but I tried a 26 and 27. I just have thick thighs and like booty meat, not like a butt, like booty meat on the side, you know? So I ordered a 26 and a 27. No, the 27 like was fine around the waist. It just in my thighs were so, so tight. So then I ordered a 29 on accident. Those were like way too big in my waist, but honestly the thighs fit like very comfortable. But this is true denim, which so I know it stretches. Um, but anyway, so then I was like, crap, I need a 28. And I checked on the app while I was in the dressing room. It said they didn't have it, but then I went out and asked and they did. So I'm like, annoying. So I ended up getting the 28, 
which is like um just so different i don't know i feel like jeans are just depending on what brand you go with are so different but i've also know that i've put on like some lower body chunk wit so fully aware of that um we're working but you know like your body just changes after you have kids i used to be like a 24 25 and now i'm like a 26 28 <laughs> <laughs> and that's just life, you know? So I'm gonna walk, run over to the van store first and then to the Abercrombie store and get little guy some vans. And um, what else was I gonna say? Yeah, so I think they're gonna be good. I wanted just like a super light wash for um, the spring. I'll show you the color that I got. I got the color, I wanna say it's like I don't know, I'll leave them down below, but I got the wedgie fit. I just really like this. It's like ultra lightweight and it's such a soft, nice denim. So yeah, I'm excited about them. Um, let's see, this is like my first pair of Levi's jeans. I lied, I owned a pair from the Levi's. I had to do so many different return things, but I owned a pair from the Levi's um, collab with like Target. I don't know if those are legit Levi's. I think they are. I don't know. I own a pair of those and those fit nice in the waist, but my butt, it like smooshed my butt. So I sold those on my Poshmark. Um, but yeah. I've just been finding some super inconsistency and honestly the inconsistency might be me. <laughs> like I might have just gained more weight. I don't know. It doesn't say it on the scale, but it's completely possible that I'm gaining more weight and that's why I'm no longer a 26 but no big deal, or even a 27 in Levi. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, a size on the jeans is nothing. Like letting that go, letting go of like a small, medium, large, letting go of like this, this, and this, it's literally just to help you find a size. It's literally just that. It does not define anything else. And I think, you know, sometimes we can get it in our heads and sometimes I think that's why jeans are like the least fun to shop for because also, Brands differ and then within a brand so much can change too. It's kind of just nuts So I don't know just try to keep that in mind if you're feeling like frustrated or Anything when it comes to jeans like I feel you I've been there. I've done that and uh, I'm just not letting that creep in anymore because it's just completely unnecessary um, Being a double zero in jeans is no different than being an eight. It doesn't or a 16. It doesn't matter it like truly means nothing so um yeah that's my thought that's me ramble wait i need to get out of here i don't think that's the way i go i think that's the way i go <laughs> so we're gonna drive over to the next location and uh get out of here and then um nope i went the wrong stinking way shoot slayer magoo slayer oh no i didn't I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Yes, I did, yes, I did, but it's okay. It's so, no, I didn't, girl. All right, let's go to Vans and trade in these little shoesies for little guy. Um, let's see what we can. All right, it's 4.15. I'm starving. I am. Um, it took a long time <laughs> at Abercrombie. I also went to Zara. I tried on a pair of, like, girl, I don't know what is going on with Zara's jeans. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. It's totally possible. I also feel like Abercrombie's um, shorts are sizing different this year as well. Again, it's probably me. <laughs> it's probably me. Um, let's go home. It says, I was like, it's going to take six hours if you walk. Girl, I'm not trying to walk. But um, I got everything that I needed and then some. I'll show you everything when I get home. I'm hungry. And um, be thirsty. <clears throat> I did bring some protein chippies with these snacks. This will hold me over till I get home. <laughs> But, um, I didn't even try on the dress at Zara. I think it'll be fine. And then I also got Scott a pair of shorts. 
So, if he doesn't like them, I'm gonna be going back to, um, not from Zara, I got some from Abercrombie. I've been trying to convince him to try, try their shorts, and he's like, no. I'm like, let's just get them and see what he thinks. Um, he's so bougie, like, only buys, like, Peter Miller, which are, like, $200 for a pair of freaking shorts. I'm like, sir, that's insane. Ma'am? Ma'am? I know I can go, sir. Nilani invited us over to her parents' house for Easter. I'm pumped about that. Scott was sweating for a minute. He's like, it's Masters weekend. I'm like, don't worry. They'll have golf on TV. <laughs> Hello, you guys. Happy Monday. I've just been filming a little bit. Um, went to the gym this morning, did Pilates again. And my teacher was like, you seem like you're getting stronger and you can hold your blanks longer. And I'm like, yeah, I still hate them, but thank you for noticing. <laughs> um, so yeah, we took it really easy this weekend. Um, Saturday, I don't think we did really anything. Uh, did we? I like can't even remember. Oh, we went out to dinner. No, we didn't do anything during the day. We went to H Mart for, um, some groceries. We needed some new, um, we're missing some Asian supplies. So we need to get some of that. And then we went to Tori's End, which is like one of our favorite restaurants in Schaumburg. Um, so good. And, uh, we had like a little bit of everything. So it's like a very traditional izakaya. It's so good. Next to H Mart and, um, Amazon Fresh. If you live in the area, you have to go. And they're so busy. So like you have to get there at like 530 to put your name on the list because you can't make reservations. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, did that. And then Sunday we went to the gym, cleaned around the house, did lots of meal prepping. I did a lot of meal prepping, so I'll show you what I prepped for lunch. I made my egg bites again, of course. Uh, but I just figured it'd be easier to meal prep lunches. I'm gonna see how this week goes and then I'll take you guys along, not along with me, but I'll do the prep with you this weekend if I really liked it. I just hate the idea of eating the same thing every day. So I kind of made like a thing that I could have multiple different ways like by itself or on a salad or in a tortilla or something like that with chips, who knows? Um, so yeah, and then um, I just actually got off the phone with Lifetime. I'm gonna, Arlo's doing his first swim lesson this weekend. We took him to the pool on sa Sunday and had him swim around and he had a lot of fun and I need to pick up some swim diapers though. So put that on my list for Target. Um, but yeah, he's gonna do his first, he gets like a free month of lessons through Lifetime. So I signed him up for his first one here on Sunday. So I'm excited. And it's one that he gets to do it by himself, which I think he'll thrive in. So yeah, I like literally can't even imagine our life before Lifetime. I'm obsessed. I'm Lifetime's biggest fan. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a nice day out. I wanna be able to take a walk in a little while. So I'm gonna get a video up and uh, clean up my mess. And I'll chat with you guys a little bit. Hi, happy Tuesday. Me realizing I never picked back up the camera yesterday. But let me show you what I got from Abercrombie, Zara. I think that's it. Um, I feel like I didn't show a good depiction of this bag, but it's so cute. It's got a leather strap and then it's got this like felt strap. Both are detachable and you can monogram it, which I thought was so cute. I thought this would be like the perfect little spring bag I love. It also comes in brown, but I feel like I just don't have a nice casual black bag. I also got these little trousers, or not trousers, um, cargo pants. I haven't tried them on yet, so we'll see what I think about those. Those are from Abercrombie. Um, I got another pair of Curb Love jeans <laughs> and a medium wash, and then I got these little overalls, which I think I'm going to do a styling video on. I wanted a lighter wash. I had done an H&M video, oh, gosh, um, I think back in like January or February, and I loved the overalls from there, but I felt like I wanted more of a lighter wash with no rips, so I got these ones. Um, I don't think they have any rips. No, they don't. Um, and I'm pumped about them. They're so cute. And then, I already showed you these jeans on, but these are the Levi's jeans that I got. And last but not least, also, oh, I also got these shorts from Abercrombie, the dad shorts. I went and sized up to a four because I got a two in my haul and I just felt like they were too tight. I got those. Whew, sorry, I'm a yawning machine. And then from Zara, I love Zara's like 
shirt dresses. I have, I think, I think I only have two of them in green. I have another green one, but it's a much louder print. This I feel like is like kind of more subtle. This is like a paisley. I thought this was so cute. Um, it's kind of got a flared out little skirt. I like it a lot. I did get this in a medium because I feel like Zara's dresses can be kind of short. Yeah, this is perfect. So cute. I don't feel like trying it on right now, but I thought this would be nice for obviously here, but then also to take to Florida with us. Because we leave oh, for Florida in two weeks today. Um, so I booked the flights for that and excited to go see my dad uh, and spend Arlo's birthday there. And I also ordered some Ninja Turtle birthday supplies for Arlo to go to the house there. Um, so yeah. My dad completely redid. I'm pretty sure, I don't think I ever vlogged in that house. Um, but I know I filmed like girl talks there, but uh, yeah, he completely redid it. So I'm excited. Obviously I've seen pictures and videos, but I'm excited to like see what it looks like in person. and just go spend some time with my dad and um it's supposed to be like 88 degrees so <laughs> I'm excited for that but I also like just really enjoy the seasons here <laughs> I'm happy it doesn't go from like cold Florida doesn't ever get like cold cold but I'm happy it doesn't go from like cold to freaking like 90 degrees I like the 40s the 50s the 60s I'm here for it. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog. I feel like it's sufficiently long enough. Um, I don't know, do you guys like the 40 minute long vlogs or like 20 minutes? I feel like sometimes 40 minutes is like too long. Uh, but I've got another one coming soon. Oh my god. Sorry. I need to drink more coffee. Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!